Today we're making these resist jellyfish paintings. So you want to write your name, your grade, and your teacher name on the back side of your paper. This is a 6 by 9 watercolor paper for this project. And here's my first example. So I'm going to show you at first how to draw four different types of jellyfish in different ways. So we start with this like rainbow shape and then a wavy line at the bottom. And underneath the wavy line, you're going to add the tentacles. You're going to use wavy lines and curly lines. If you wanted to make a pattern, you could. Um, you don't have to make a pattern, but you just want to add these lines at the bottom. So I'm going to fill up this bottom space with any type of line I would like to use. And this would be one example of one of the jellyfish shapes. So I'm going to do three more in each square. And you'll get to choose from these which one you would like to draw or if you would like to come up with your own idea. So here's a different shape for the head. And I'm using a black marker. We're going to be using some white oil pastels that will create a really cool oil resist for our colors. You can see in this one I did a pattern. Wavy, wiggly, wavy. Let's keep going. My third design is going to look a little different. I think this one's my favorite. This is like a rainbow line with a wavy line underneath. It's a little different than the first one. Kind of looks like the bad guys from Pac-Man. And then we're going to add different size tentacles. So these I'm going to make some long and some short. And then I could do some really fun ones. And for my last example, I'm going to do a different size for the top. This one looks more triangular. And on the bottom it kind of looks like an umbrella. I'm going to fix this little area later. Now, you could do some tight swirl lines or you could do some loose ones. So that just means some are loose and some are closer together. So I'm going to go in. This one probably has the most, but look how they're all different sizes. I'm going to go in and fix that little mistake that I made earlier. It is going to be kind of hard for you to see your white oil pastel on your white paper, but it's not impossible. You might just have to bend your paper a little. So right now I'm just adding some extra designs to the top of my jellyfish. Now keep in mind your paper is going to be really large, so you're going to have to draw your jellyfish fairly large. So our name grade teacher name is on the back of our paper. We're going to flip it over. I'm going to take my marker away and grab a white oil pastel. This is the Crayola brand oil pastels. I think they're my favorite so far. They're really bright. So now I'm going to pick which design I would like to make. I'm going to go with this triangular umbrella shaped one. And now you'll be able to see I'm drawing with a white oil pastel and it's hard to tell because my paper is also white. It's not impossible to see, but if you rub it too much with your finger or your paintbrush, you can rub off that oil pastel and your wax resist or your oil resist is not going to work. So make sure to be press hard with your oil pastel and press soft with your paintings. We're going to add some bubbles around in any extra space that you have. If you have corners that you need room for, you can do circle shapes. Some are smaller, some are larger, and all of this will show up later. We're going to use temper cakes today. This is the pan they come in. They do come out, but I will ask you to please leave them in their tray. I just wanted to show you what they look like. We also have our water bowl and a dirty old SpongeBob there. Just in case you need to wipe off your paintbrush, please do not tap your paintbrush on the edge of your table. This one is side to side. You can kind of see it was a diagonal shape. I'm just going to do mine up and down. My jellyfish is going to be up and down instead of side to side or diagonal. So now I'm going to use my paint. This paint needs a lot of water in order to work. So make sure you have lots of water on your paintbrush. If it looks really dry, add more water. You're kind of starting to see my lines that I made by adding the water. I'm using orange right now, and I'm also going to add, I'm going to mix in some red as well to give it more of an interesting design. Make sure to wash off your paintbrush before you grab a different color so that we don't mix on our tray. We want to mix only on our paper. So you can kind of start to see the tentacles coming out.
for the background of our painting, we're going to use blue. Now you have two blues. You have a light blue and a dark blue. So I'm using the light blue right now, and I'm going to paint the ocean colors. So we want our background to be blue to look like the water around your jellyfish. You can use a mix of the light blue and the dark blue. I'm going to show you in this video. Um, I've sped up this video, so I, it looks like I'm painting very quickly when really I just sped it up so it would go by faster. So adding the dark, it kind of mixes together and creates some of that interest like it did for our jellyfish. I'm going to go all the way around with this color um, and then it'll be your turn. And I'm sorry for my voice. I am really sick right now. I'm stopped up and my throat is killing me, but we're going to keep going. When you're done with your painting, you're gonna carry it like a pizza to the drying rack so that we can let it dry. So now it's your turn. Uh, this one is diagonal. Remember what I was talking about earlier, if you would like to make yours diagonal shaped. 